What's up, Internet? My name's Nerdy, and this is One Piece, episodes 165 and 166. Are numbers even real at this point? If you want the full-length reaction, go to patreon.com slash nerdy. We're jumping right in. A, because it's late, but B, because uh, I just wonder what happens now that we're out of the ball ordeal and we're into the other one. Yeah. Bakua Ima? I know Bakua Ima. I don't know anything after that. <laughs> we rolled the giant lobster. And now we're up in the upper yard. The upper yard. That's a hard thing to say in that accent. Upper y- Yeah. Upper yard we semekomu no datta. Mezasubashu wa tsune ni kami no ya- I do like that these not indigenous indigenous people um they kind of are like a mad max group bokua ima i need to learn the words to one of these songs i need to eventually like memorize one of these and just shock y'all by suddenly busting it out of my ass let's be real the amount of work that it would take for me to do that is crazy all right here we go i almost looked at the title i almost looked i saw jaya i'm not gonna lie to you guys i did see jaya it's not that surprising I don't think they go back down to Jaya, but I think that the Jaya came up to them. Yeah, like this. We're still in recap, okay. That, even that sound effect was very Legend of Zelda. <laughs> you know, Nami, she's always behaving. <laughs> Who cares about God? There's money! Fair. Actually, yeah. Fair. Oh. How the f- Can they like- f Oh, wait, the fucking cops did that. What was that, like 10 episodes ago now? Straight up, like, laser guns. <laughs> I do like that our character showed up here, which caused a random war to start happening. But that despite the fact that it's happening because our character showed up and like changed the status quo, none of our characters are aware of it. <laughs> They've got no fucking clue what's going on. Oh no, you guys took the law wrong exit. <laughs> I mean, you barely survived the last one. Okay, I don't think it's gonna be string. Oh, it's probably swamp. Yeah. What's the survival rate of this one? I'm gonna laugh if it's the pr if this is the string one and that the priest is just not here at the moment. He's busy. They don't have to go through an ordeal because the priest is off fighting the Shendarans. Oh, I'm, I might be right. <laughs> Luffy, you gotta bounce that shit back at him. That's right, motherfucker. We got a devil fruit. The superpower devil fruit. Is that his style? Is the superpower his? Because I know that Chopper's a Zoan. So maybe Luffy's a superpower? Oi, Luffy. That's Oh, it's the same guy. Hmm. I mean, they probably would. Like, if they could just get their friends and leave, they would, dude. That's 
the problem. Usopp. I love that this guy's like, I'm gonna give you an ultimatum. I'm gonna acknowledge that it's maybe not a good ultimatum, but I'm gonna give it to you. I think we're gonna find out in 10 episodes. I would, I like, there are so many possible paths. They don't know that they're actually getting closer to the sacrificial altar. This seems like a dangerous course of action. This is such a cool fight. Holy sh- What the fuck is that dog? Oh no, that's one of the priest's dog. I'm surprised the dog wasn't a part of the ball ordeal. You know what I mean? <laughs> Fuck was that? Zoro, you've got a new skill to learn, brother. <laughs> Zoro, uh, zero chance. That's a good joke. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> Soros theme? No, movie. No. You know when you're like, I don't know what I was about to say. I just started talking. Wild. All right. No way this could be bad, right? There's no way. Only good things happen at the bottom of whirlpools. See, guys, like, I'm so right about One Piece needing its own theme park. There's so many rides. Like, this would be a sick roller coaster. Although, if they did a theme park, they'd probably get the live action kids to, like, do the videos. Because it would save them a lot of money. And then there would be, like, a whole, like, live action versus anime kids. They're, like, they're all adults. But they get the live action cast to do the videos introducing the rides. I love that Luffy was like, the sun probably works differently up here. Although at like a place like Alaska or like that far north, it would, right? Like if you were at that altitude, you might like that. The concept of like six months of sun might be even worse. Depending on the angle of the planet. Oh, fuck. Does he have the mantra too? <laughs> what kind of mods is he running? <laughs> Robin! I wonder if he was torn limb from limb. Dark lady. <laughs> Chopper. So you had a bad day. There's no time for idle chit chat. What else the fuck are you gonna do? Oh my god, I want to ride this roller coaster. Oh, is this the... where the sacrificial altar is? Are they all around the altar, aren't they? Uh, well done, Luffy. Hey, we're back together again! We did it. Oh 
Well done, team. Aw, she's relieved. Soon she'll be, you know, exhausted and sad, but for now, relieved. Aww. Yeah, Chopper, you got real friends now. I love that Chopper can go Super Saiyan, but only emotionally. Oh, um... He did die. Yeah. He's fine. He was only impaled through by a lance, but he will be a-okay. Because he's God. I love that Luffy has abs in that animation. I mean, yeah, you got plenty of food. I would love it was just a long fire with like 10 full sharks. They're like debriefing. Y'all, this is big brain shit for our little brain crew. We went on a walk. We hiked for an hour and a half, two hours. It was chill. Wow, he cleaned that thing. It's called Spidey Sense? Uh, or Peter Tingle. His digestive tract is a little damaged because he was impaled by a fucking lance. <laughs> it was a little damaged. <laughs> Nico Robin's a menace. All right. Here we go. Uh, that was fun. I, it was a little bit of a, like, you know, it was mostly just getting everyone back together. So it, it, not a lot happened, but I think it was an important episode in terms of, like, Having this same group of people do another quest separately, I, I think would have been pacing wise really boring, right? So I think that we got through these separate groups doing their thing, and then we took 165 to bring them together. I think it was a smart choice. I think it was a good choice. I think it was a fun little aside um, that, that did a lot of narrative work that can at times be boring, but it wasn't. It felt exciting enough to get through what kind of is the the difficult part of narrative, right? It's the stuff that every movie tries to get rid of or shorten to as few lines as possible because it isn't the most interesting stuff. It's just everybody gets back to one another after they go do the thing. But I feel like the way they did it here was good. I really like Usopp taking charge with the chalkboard at the end. I feel like, you know, he really does want to be a leader. He doesn't have the respect of the people with him to be their leader. Um, and honestly, like, I don't know that he... I think Usopp's biggest barrier right now between being a captain and where he's at now is that he does not have a lot of like sure-footedness in his own ability. And he is very capable. Like he can do almost anything if he starts doing it. But getting started is hard because either he's cowardly towards danger or he, he just doesn't he doesn't immediately believe in himself. And I think that him finding that like inner spine to be the person that doesn't just take the debriefing, but starts the briefing and leads out the door of the briefing. I, I think that that's going to be the journey for him. And I'm excited to see him go on it because I love Usopp as a character. I, I think he's so complex in ways that uh, some of the Straw Hats aren't always, right? Like Zoro, Zoro has his moments, don't get me wrong, but Zoro doesn't have the same complexity all of the time, right? Oftentimes, Zoro is kind of one thing, and then he surprises you with these moments of complexity that are really fun to watch. 
but Usopp is always on the brink of being the hero, but doesn't believe in himself quite enough to be the hero until he absolutely has to. And it's going to be interesting to see how many times he lives on that brink before he is willing to take that first step himself without kind of needing to be prompted by it being a life or death situation. Cool stuff. Uh, let's get into the next episode. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's one piece. Oh, it's one piece. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll eliminate you along with an Eru. People are telling me that God's name is Enel and that Eneru is a bad translation issue. Is that true? Oh, these guys are fucking fighting. Good for them, you know what I mean? I love that that was straight up just a human being voice in the dog! Rawr! That's so fucking funny. Ooh. So, do the Shindarans not know about the mantra? They're just raw dog in this fight, thinking they have a ch Oh no, lady! Does the dog have mantra? Lucky! Can the dog see the future? <laughs> Not the Verth. <laughs> cool. That was a great shot. Kamakiri. <laughs> Oh my god, Crypto the Super Dog's fucking these bitches up! Interesting. Yeah, how were they close? Did they land a blow? Did they accomplish anything with this? Other than giving Luffy Zoro or Luffy uh, Sanji and Usopp time to catch up? Do we get to meet God? I want to meet God. Not like yet. I've got a long life to live, hopefully, but. I like that Zoro getting lost constantly isn't just a gag for the audience, but it is just a true thing in the show. And everyone just is aware that Zoro cannot find his way around. Luffy, you okay, brother? Yoshi, <laughs> 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 What did you find? Since when does Nami wear glasses? Have we ever seen that woman wear glasses? Am I crazy? Have there's no way I would have noticed that. I would have noticed that. I feel fucking crazy now. What is the stone? These glasses are really fucking me up, guys. I, I, I honestly don't know how I feel about the glasses. <laughs> of all the things to be thrown off by, her suddenly wearing glasses, I don't know. Usopp, what you thinking? Yes! Okay, I gotta know. I gotta know. Um, 
first time Nami wears glasses. Yeah, this is the first time! Reddit agrees with me! That's insane! It's episode 166! I don't know that I like you calling it love stew. I'm gonna lose my mind if she never wears glasses again. If this is a one-off, random thing that Oda did. Pierre. Pierre holding a spoon. <laughs> what the fuck is this? What are we doing? What are we doing? We went to Sky Pia and I lost my Sky fucking mind. Oh my god, I might as well be watching Sky High. Oh, Jesus Christ. If Pierre starts talking, I'm gonna lose my- Oh, he's awake! We might get some actual lore here. Oh, shit. That's really cool. That is a fun reveal. Shit like that is really fun. Also, the shot of the finger to the nose is very funny. But no, that's brilliant. Like... I'm surprised people said that Skypea is a lot like Alabasta. I don't think pacing-wise this is like Alabasta at all. It's my fault. Because she was focused on saving the Verth bag. She, yeah, she opened it up for the loss. I feel bad for you, Lucky. I get it. You're trying to do something right by a child, and then... What? What does she not know? Yeah, no, I'm with Nami. Here it is. Hey! She took the glasses off. They were her storytelling glasses, and now she's not storytelling anymore. Great shot. That is another human voice. Chopper try. That's cute. Fair question. <laughs> Nami. It wasn't a fight, but it fucking is now. Nami assaulted the pooch. I can't believe it. Wow, even the wolves are horny for Nami. <laughs> are the wolves singing? Oh wow, that's a face. <laughs> what? <laughs> the fuck is happening? What the fuck is ha what the fuck is happening? <laughs> oh my god, it's just like that one episode of Full Alchemist Brotherhood. What is this song? I'm really I'm baffled. I'm bamboozled. I'm perplexed. I'm glad the old man's survived his lancing. I mean this with all the respect in the world, and I feel like this is going to be taken wrong, but this song sounds like a kid's bop version of a Japanese pop song. <laughs> and I don't know why it sounds like that, but I'm really getting kid's bop vibes from this. Lucky. 
Do you really feel like you got licks in today? Because it looked like you guys got fucked hard. Are they going to leave a tangerine tree behind? That guy's hat visor thing is the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. It's like a ball cap on his face and then a string around the back. If I cosplay that at Anime Expo, do you think anyone would know what it was? Interesting. It's a very melancholy end to an episode. Oh my god, I stopped the recording and I didn't give my post thoughts. I don't even know what I said when I stopped the recording. I don't know where that video ends. Anyway, I hear... Okay. This episode's really good. What was I saying? I was saying that I've been thinking about the difference between Skypea and Alabasta. Because I didn't like Alabasta very much. I, I felt like it really dragged and I felt like it was not the satisfying end to the arc that I wanted. And the difference between it and Skypea for me is that Alabasta tells you, like, before we get to Alabasta, hey, there's this guy there, his name's Crocodile, he's a bad dude, we need to beat him, right? And then you just spend a lot of time kind of waiting for Luffy to get in position to beat him. And there's really interesting stuff in there, but not all of it is super connected to anything. There's a bunch of filler, and it just doesn't really work, right? In my opinion. Obviously, other people are like Alabasta. I'm not saying that you're wrong if you do. I just didn't. What Skype is doing that's really different is like Enel or Enaru might be bad. I, I don't know right now, right? The, I, I, I'm pretty sure that this guy, God, Sky Knight, is a good guy. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know how the Shandians, Shandarans, Shandians. I think Shandians is from Marvel and Shand these are Shandarans. I can't remember. Um, the, the, the difference here is that like, I have an idea of where it's going and I have like assumptions that I'm making because the show is leading me in that way. But if the twist is that like Sky Knight is a bad dude and that Enel is like saving all of them from something and there's a reason why this is going down and we're ultimately going to turn on Sky Knight, that possibility still exists in a way that it never existed in Alabasta. There was no room for a twist because we just knew that Crocodile was bad the whole time. And so we just spent all of that time being like, yeah, these are the bad guys. These are the good guys. Eventually they're going to fight. It kind of leads to that mentality of like, let's get to the fight then. If you're going to tell me that this is just going to be a fight, let, let it be a fight. Whereas the mysteries of Skypea, particularly the Jaya Island shooting up and becoming the skull, like that reveal was so fun and so earned and honestly surprising. I didn't really see the skull thing coming. And I think that I would have if I thought about it deeper, but I didn't. I was just kind of along for the ride. And so it hit the right way, right? It came at the right point. We're a dozen episodes into this arc and like there's, they're saying like, hey, we're going to solve little bits of the mystery. We're not going to tell you the whole picture, right? But we're going to give you a thing here that's going to make it interesting to keep going. And I think that sometimes people complain that I will say things like, I want to know what's going on. And they're like, oh, you just want the story to tell you everything. And I'm like, no, no, no. I want you to pace out the reveals in a way where it is a roller coaster ride that keeps me on the cruise, right? I want to feel the up and the down of the arc. And so if the arc is just kind of a slow ratchet up, like a Brandon Sanderson book, and then a big drop at the end, like a, a one roller coaster drop, but it's right at the end. There's a point in the middle there where I'm like, can you add something? Can I, I just need some reveals in the middle. And Skype to me is giving those little reveals. We're beating Satori. We're, we're, we're finding out about Mantra. We're finding out about the skull. We're finding out all these things. And we're having our little victories. And I, I think that it's really, it is something else. Also, I just want to say Chopper, great character. Chopper's fucking awesome. I love that they show up and his first instinct is to be like, no, 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 nothing happened. Everything's fine. 
But to us, he's like, but he's emotionally devastated. But to the audience, he's keeping that shit inside. It's awesome. I can't wait. I can't wait to see where this is going. I hope we get to meet Enel soon. I hope so. Although we have like 32 more episodes, which is, am I right about that? Is Sky Pia, I, I, I've been told that it ends on 198. Sky Pia length. Here we go. Uh, it ends on anime. No, I need the, I need the, the anime length, not the manga length. The manga was 66 chapters. What the fuck? Are you serious? 195. Okay, so we have nine or 20, 29 episodes left. Holy shit, this is a 43 episode arc. That's so crazy. That is nuts. All right. Well, uh, this is great. I really enjoyed these episodes like a lot. I feel like Skype is like really working for me. And I'm so happy about it because I really like Jaya. And then I saw some comments being like, he likes Jaya, but he's not going to like Skypea. But I'm really enjoying Skypea. I think it's it's really excellent stuff. I think the mysteries are being handled really well. Uh, if you like the video, like subscribe to the channel. If you don't hit the dislike button, leave me in comments down below because the algorithm god is hungry and we must feed her. This episode, the algorithm goddess is Nami because Nami wears fucking glasses now? Since fucking when? Crazy. If you want to follow me around the internet, you can. I'm at Nerdy Nightly. And as always, do something nerdy tonight. Bye.